What's going on guys, welcome back. So uh, today I had the final of the uh, Tamiya Mazda Miata MX-5. And yes, this is my first build in 2020. Almost in 2019. <laughs> 2020. And this is pretty darn good. I actually started this a little bit before 2020 began. I actually started a little bit back in 2019. But that was just me cleaning it up and stuff. But the paint didn't go on until later on. So, uh, the reason why I got paint on it so early because, you know, I'm in New York and winter here is bad. But actually, one of these weeks, we actually had like almost 70 degree win uh, weather. So, that, got, that gave me a chance to get everything in there. Color, the body, interior, chassis, everything. And get the clear coat on the body. And... I'm done from there, all of us is detail painting and stuff. So that was a good, very good weekend. Because it takes me about two days to do the paint jobs. Because one day I, I focus on the body, get the color on the body and clear and all that stuff. Then the next day I focus on the interior and the chest, you know, that are colors. So, but yeah, it, it was a good, good week. Uh, or weekend, I should say, for painting. So that was pretty good. So, this is the Mazda Miata MX-5 by Tamiya, and you know what comes to Tamiya, amazing models, amazing kits, no fitment issues, no flash, no nothing like that. So, uh, the color I chose on the body is Splash Paints, uh, NATO, NATO uh, Silver, it's like a light, very light silver, as you can tell here has some kind of dark, darkness to it, but not too much, so I thought that looked good on the Mazda. And I did it with the, uh, I did it with the uh, red and black interior, because red interior looks amazing in silver cars I see out, like, um, for instance, the uh, new Toyota Camry, it's silver, and they had the red interior, the seats are all red, I mean, that just, Look, the red interior suits the silver car, which is very nice. So I like that. So we did it in the bed and black interior. Uh, the wheels, uh, I did make a steel color. I didn't want to go like a flat black kind of uh, wheel look. I want a little bit, you know, lighter tone to it. So I did steel. Give it, you know, <laughs> lively to it. And that's pretty much about it. The, the rest of the stuff, the headlights, all that stuff. I love how the uh, Tamiya does their clear parts. They have like the headlights. They have little attachment points that goes on the body and stuff. So you don't have to get glue on the side of the uh, glass and stuff. So that's I window and all that stuff. I just like how Tamiya does it. The tail lights look amazing. I just I, um, for clear parts. I get a lot of questions on how I do my clear reds and clear orange and stuff. I literally just use Sharpie. Sharpie, it dries instantly and it looks just as good as the Tamiya clears. So, I just, it just dries instantly and you can put it on then you're ready to put it onto the model. So, I just go with that, the Tamiya clears, it takes a while to dry and Plus the uh, Sharpie, like for this car, it has the rear, the uh, reverse light and the hazard lights in the middle. So if you're paint brushing that, that's gonna take a while to get. You have my mask stat or whatever, but the uh, Sharpie, I just go around it, like you know, I just draw it on there. So Sharpie, I I personally love Sharpie, unless it's like, a really difficult area to get to with the Sharpie, then I would use the paint, just get the paint brush in there and be done with it. But for most of the time, clear, you know, clear parts, I use Sharpie. Mostly orange and red. Yellow sometimes. Sharpie is the way I go. Um, and plus the gauges, I do do a special thing. Because the gauges, there's no clear part goes over them. So I get the Tamiya clear. I just get a huge dab. I just dab. I just put a huge glob of uh, clear on there. So it looks like glass kind of look so that's what I do it's my little, my little technique on clear parts 
I uh, hope you guys will, you know, could do could do that little trick. It dries instantly. So, right now, guys, that's it for now. I'll have a little sideshow at the end of this build. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Bye for now. <laughs>